Thank you. I'm very pleased and honored by your invitation uh, to give this talk today. Uh, of course, I would like to specially thank EO4G, the University of Patras, and you, uh, Professor Andreas Kazatidis, for the opportunity uh, to share with the participants the basic knowledge behind the development and application of an early warning system to help prevent outbreaks for mosquito-borne diseases. I am Katarina Kiradzi, Project Manager of AWA, and I will give this presentation today on behalf of Harris Kodoes, Project Coordinator of AWA, and please accept his sincere apologies for not being able to attend uh, due to an emergency situation. I'm privileged to speak on behalf of the AWA Consortium, which is comprised of esteemed professionals and key organizations from Europe that develop scientific excellence. AWA, an early warning system for mosquito-borne diseases, is the fruit of a voluntary endeavor developed under the umbrella of the Eurogeo Action Group for Epidemics, EO4 Evidence, which is coordinated by the Young Center of Earth Observation Research and Satellite Remote Sensing of the National Observatory of Athens. For many of us, a mosquito bite is just annoying, spoiling a warm summer night on the veranda. However, in some areas of our planet, especially the tropics, Mosquitoes are unfortunately more than just annoying. They can transmit various diseases uh, to living beings and especially humans that can be detrimental to our health, even deadly. More than 80% of the global population lives in areas at risk of at least one major mosquito-borne disease, with more than 700,000 deaths at a global scale. Although specific actions and practices were adopted to control these diseases uh, in Europe in the past decades, the emergence of outbreaks is just around the corner. Europe is experiencing an increasing number of uh, human cases of mosquito-borne diseases in the last 10 years, as shown here in the um, reported cases by the ECDC, the European Centre for Diseases Prevention and Control, which demonstrate that Europe is not immune from uh, mosquito-borne diseases. The most important uh, mosquito-borne uh, diseases in Europe are West Nile virus, linked to the Culex mosquito, malaria, to Anopheles mosquito, and uh, dengue, Zika, and chikungunya linked to Aedes albopictus. The emergence of global trends, such as the changing climatic and ecological conditions, global travel and trade, uh, as well as human behavior, are driving the re-emergence of these diseases, posing challenges to the national public health authorities in the European region. This map, published by ACDC in 2020, illustrates the West Nile virus cases in Europe and neighboring areas for the period 2011-2020. So it clearly highlights um, the outbreak spread across Europe, and we can understand that there is a constantly increasing need to innovate on how the continuous threats of mosquito-borne diseases are confronted, treated, but most of all, foreseen. Uh, so this need gave birth to AWA, a revolutionary, as we like to say, scalable and sustainable early warning system for mosquito-borne diseases, and a game changer in the domain of epidemics. AWA supports sustainability by addressing the relevant priorities of the geosocietal uh, benefit areas, the Agenda 2030, and the Sustainable Development Goals uh, 3, 11, and 13. AWA addresses the geotriptic, advocate, engage, deliver. The consortium seeks to exploit synergies at several levels. It relies on exhaustive inventorying of uh, needs, priorities, and gaps in the domain of health for the engaged regions and users based on a coordinated co-design and integration approach. It leverages on the engagement of a wide community of scientists, stakeholders, institutional users, and health organizations, owing data and expertise. The consortium delivers a system capable to analyze multi-source and multi-temporal big data, representing large geographic areas, and provide digital services and information for enhanced control of mosquito-borne diseases at various spatiotemporal scales. The latter ranging from the settlement and municipality level to the region or country. Also, the consortium delivers a network of stakeholders and uh, 
the roadmap action plan that sets the service quality and data provision standards uh, to cover the European and even non-European territories. Now, the AWA team consists of uh, 15 partners from five European countries. The three strategic partners of AWA from Greece are um, Beyond EO Center, Echo Development, a company specializing in mosquito control and data analytics, and the Laboratory of Atmospheric Physics from the University of Padres. The consortium is complemented with 12 more esteemed partners from Greece, uh, which is the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, the University of Thessaly, an IDCOM company, and also from Italy, Instituto Zoprofilatico Sperimentale delle Venezie, Edmund Mach Foundation, University of Trento, from France, Aid Mediterranean, from Germany, the German Mosquito Control Association CABS and the Bernard North Institute for Tropical Medicine, and also from Serbia, the University of Novi Sad and the Scientific Veterinary Institute of Novi Sad. The consortium is engaging up to February 2021, a network of 37 stakeholders globally, which also includes public health uh, institutions, uh, as we can hear, see here uh, in the map, and the number of involved co-designers and end users from European and also non-European uh, territories, uh, such as from USA, Brazil, and India. Now, the AWA team, building on uh, the principle, together everyone succeeds more. Uh, our visionary and creative, creative team constitutes an interdisciplinary group of scientists and stakeholders from the fields of medicine, veterinary medicine, entomology, biology, earth observations, geospatial big data analysis, physics, mathematics, computer science, and of course, information technology. All partners play key roles in their countries and they complement each other in a way that AWA develops, expands, and supports uh, public health authorities and decision makers for controlling mosquito borne diseases. So, now how AWA competes and stands out. AWA exploits uh, open and freely available earth observation data, coming mostly from state of the art European technological tools and innovation. It has developed a streamlined and automated uh, pipeline for the processing and fusion of multiple data sources, including earth observation, meteorological, entomological, epidemiological, and socioeconomic uh, demographic data. The system is built with a view to be scalable and transferable from local to country and continent level. Last but not least, AWA system is designed to be fully operational. As of now, it is delivering operational results reaching the highest technology readiness level nine uh, in Greece, Italy, Serbia, Germany, and France. Now we will dive into the system's architecture and see how all these unique aspects of AWA are combined. First of all, we have the data collection tier one. This is where the system plugs in various data providers and gathers all the in situ entomological, epidemiological, socioeconomic, satellite earth observation and meteorological data to ensure federated access and interoperability. We have 10 years in homological data, and so we're using Sentinel-2 and also Landsat images to cover the historic time frame. In tier two, the challenge of processing time series of satellite data from various sensors and uh, generate the relevant indices for the last 10 years is being addressed by using the cloud based uh, platform Creodias and uh, when necessary, the Google Earth engine. A suite of uh, APIs is developed and publicly available also through Beyond NOAA's GitHub profile for satellite images harvesting and pre-processing. In tier three, big data management, and uh, which is until now more than uh, close to 300 terabytes of data. Um, it is achieved through the open data technology, a state of the art tool for earth observation and other data fusion, feature engineering, and data analytics. In tier four, the exploratory data analysis and feature engineering takes place. The result is a 
mammoth, as we like to call it, because it is uh, a huge feature space of at least 10 years time series of data for every mosquito traps network in uh, 10 regions in Europe up to now. So now you must be wondering, how is this plethora of independent data transformed into meaningful scientific knowledge? Well, AWA's answer in tier five uh, is a factory of dynamic and data-driven models. That mammoth huge feature space uh, with all the aforementioned time series of observation and derived knowledge fits the models in order to teach them about the dynamics of mosquitoes abundance and the mosquito-borne diseases transmission. We have two generic models, MAMO, uh, developed by the Beyond Center, and MIMESIS, developed by the, lab, um, the Laboratory of Atmospheric Physics, for, for which uh, Professor Yanis Kitsukis uh, will tell you more during his presentation. So generic means that they are replicable to multiple areas with a minimum immediate adaptation for mosquitoes population and human cases out of prediction. During a co-design pro process with local public health authorities and decision makers, two more site-specific models, BAD for mosquitoes population and BAR for uh, West Nile virus human cases prediction were created from our partner ECO development according to the highlighted user's needs. I will now give you a few more details about uh, MAO, the model that we developed here, to understand the generic models and their applicability framework of uh, AWA. So MAL stands for Mosquitoes Abundance Prediction Model, auto calibrated from features to Thora. That practically means uh, that the model automatically selects the most important features from that huge feature space I mentioned before, thus resulting in an unbiased and transferable model for any type of mosquito Already. This approach allows for comparative studies among different cases uh, as the pipeline uh, follows. This time is under the same architecture and the same mathematical principle. Finally, in tiers uh, six and seven, uh, this is where AWA communicates and disseminates its scientific uh, expertise. Monthly reports are produced and they include maps and further explanation of the predictions results, which are sent to public health authorities and decision makers. We have the systems uh, web platform, uh, which is a NICE state-of-the-art tool in the hands of the national health organizations and public health authorities. Data, predictions, maps, statistics are all available through the platform to the authorized users. And we also have the Mosquito Vision application, uh, a mobile app developed by Eco Development, and uh, that informs citizens, peers, and officers of the public health authorities on the expected mosquito noises and receives feedback from peers to validate and extrapolate the noise and awareness picture in bigger areas. As I mentioned earlier, AWA supports open data and open science. So, for that, all the analysis ready 10 years time series of environmental, meteorological, and geomorphological data for every mosquito traps network are available through the AWA Open API and also the Next Geos Data Hub. Okay, so now we went uh, step by step through AWA system architecture, and now maybe the most essential part of this end to end process is the operational implementation. So AWA in action. AWA was operationally implemented in 2020 uh, with a demonstrated impact in Greece, uh, the regions of Central Macedonia, Pisadi, Western Greece and Crete, and also in Italy, the Veneto region, forecasting all its mosquito populations and West Nile virus outbreaks. In 2020, AIPA was also, also pre-operationally uh, tested for uh, Kulik's abundance prediction in Serbia and Germany, Anopheles' uh, pre abundance prediction in Italy, and Aedes albopictus in France. In the map, we can see these uh, regions where AIPA was operating, 
in red, uh, you can see the regions that AWA was operational um, in 2020, but now AWA is fully operational in all these areas, plus the Obstani region here in the south of France, and started delivering results again for the 2021 uh, mosquito summer season in the end of April. The monthly reports uh, created, uh, as I mentioned uh, before, at tier six are delivered to the regional public health authorities and mosquito controllers to support preparedness, organize mitigation actions, and raise citizens' awareness. A1 and MAS. So we have a plethora of satellite earth observation data. Uh, we also have a plethora of entomological, epidemiological, crowdsourced, socioeconomic, and auxiliary data. And of course, state of the art technological uh, tools. All that combined, uh, AWA leverages scientific knowledge and ultimately proves that earth observation can append our understanding in the field of epidemics. The pivotal role of AWA is to become a key learner for public health authorities to support preparedness, uh, as I said, timely strategic design of the health system response uh, actions to a possible um, outbreak and raise the citizens' awareness on the expected risk with a view to fight mosquito-borne diseases. I would like to thank you all for your attention. And uh, of course, I would like to thank all our partners from Greece, Eco Development, University of Patras, uh, IVCOM, Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, University of Thessaly, Italy, Instituto Soprofilatico, Edmund Mach Foundation, University of Trento, Serbia, the University of Novi Sad, and the Scientific Veterinary Institute of Sad, from Germany, the German Mosquito Control Association and the Bernard Noft Institute, and from France, the Aid Mediterranean, for their commitment and uh, all their scientific um, excellence and expertise they are bringing to this consortium which of course is open and welcomes new partnerships uh, from around the world. Thank you very much.